Boston forward. No sign of a challenge. So he tries his luck. Hits the post. Ian Clark. Six goals this season. Healy. Across comes young Graham Lee. Paul Arneson as well. Bit of double cover, but Heaney gets past them. He's brought down by Arneson. Well, descent from Arneson, but surely that was a foul. Referee Knight thought so. Heaney himself will take the free kick. Tuttle's at the far post. Oh, it's dropped for Craig Little. He's buried it. One defender to another. Tuttle with the nod down from Heaney's free kick. And Craig Little, he only scored once in the normal season. Away at Chester, how important could this one be? Jones, the substitute, gets it back. What are his options? Tries a shot. Not a bad effort from Jones. Comes to Arneson. They're queuing up. Oh, it's gone across the face. Oh, it's not Hartlepool's day. Space for Gabby Adini. Good skill from Gabby Adini. The substitute, Glenn Naylor. Naylor into the area. He's brought down by Martin Holland. And what's going to be the decision here? Referee Barry Knight is calling Holland towards him, the Norwegian goalkeeper. It's a red card for him. Poole have got a mountain to climb, down to ten men. Keeper sent off. And it was all created by Gabby Adini. Picks out Naylor well. Yeah, brought down there by Holland, no doubt about it. How will Chris Turner reorganise things? Well, poor old Paul Arneson, he's the man sacrificed so that Paul can bring on a keeper. Andy Dibble, it is, the veteran, played at the highest level, though he hasn't been first choice. Gabbiadini gets the second. They're not there yet, but with a 2-0 lead to take to the second leg on Wednesday, they're well placed. 